Hi, fishy folks, and happy new year, everyone. I hope everyone had a happy and safe new year and a fantastic Christmas or a Hanukkah or a Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate, like Festivus, which is the holiday for the rest of us, in case you didn't know. Anyway, fishy folks, 2019 is going to bring some new things for me and my fish room. I am going to start my own cross of guppies. I've spoken to a friend, super breeder Doug, who drives a crappy Nissan, but still a nice guy. And uh, he made a cross with some black Moscow's and albino reds, I think. And I really liked how they looked in one of his videos. I'll link that video here. And so I am going to copy him and take some black Moscow's and red Cobras and cross them and see what we get. So grab some popcorn or a snack and a beverage of your choice and come along as I pick my breeders and uh, put them in a tank, play some Barry White and see what happens. Boom. All right, fishy folks, here I have some black Moscow males, really nice. I'm gonna take two of these and then go over to my red Cobra uh, breeding tank and take two really nice, hopefully young, female red cobras and cross them and we're gonna see what we have all right so let's net out some black moscow males oh look at that three all at once oh oh i lost one and i got some red cobras nope i have three stand by all right, fishy folks, let's take a look and see if we can find the best ones. That one clearly looks spectacular. Big tail, almost full bodied black. I think the smaller one also looks good. At least it's mostly black. Like I said, it's got a great dorsal. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Which two should I pick? All right, I got it. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I took a scoop of guppies out. Now I'd like to find virgin guppies, but that's not how my breeding setup works. So I am going to choose, I think, uh, younger looking guppies, like this one with the red in her tail. Um, and maybe that one with a little red in her tail and a bigger dorsal. And maybe this one, because she looks pretty big and strong. Maybe I'll pick a couple from here, and then I'll get grab another scoop of guppies. I, like I said, I just put the scoop in. I grabbed, luckily I got all females. There might only be one male in that tank, at least one adult male. There may be some juveniles growing up that I have to take out, but... All right, let's pick some females. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, we picked four really nice red cobra females. I either chose for uh, lots of red in the tail or a bigger, uh, more flamboyant tail. That's such a great word, flamboyant. Anyway, so we have uh, a ratio of two to one. There's four females and two males. I'm gonna add some more guppy grass. I'm gonna risk putting my hand in Chewy's tank and grabbing some of that guppy grass out of there. And of course, I need to put a filter. I'm sure there's an extra filter somewhere, probably in this tank, which I'll have to pull out, make sure there's no guppies on it, and then put it back in here and boom, a seeded filter. All right, guys, let me go grab a filter and some more guppy grass. And then we'll talk about some guppy breeding tips. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I was right. That sponge filter was in the tank to the right. And uh, so all I did was take it out, give it a quick squeeze in some tank water, and uh, put it in this tank, and boom, cycled fish tank. Uh, I've also added some guppy grass. As you know, I keep guppy grass in Chewy's tank. The reason I do this is, you can see how a little bit of a mess it is right now. Hi, Chewy. The reason I do this is when I pull guppy grass out of a, a fish tank that had guppies in it, I want to make sure there's no babies in it before I put it in another guppy tank, because then I'm just making mutts. And to tell you the truth, I have a lot of mutts. I can't wait for spring to come and get warmer, and uh, we'll be selling lots of mutts on the website, I'm sure. 
Anyway, I put the guppy grass in here and then any fry that I miss, Chewy takes care of for me because he's stellar. I also swish it around in here. It's 90 gallons of water, actually 75 gallons of water. So um, this water can handle cleaning up any detritus that's in here as well. All right, back to the guppy tank. Fish room's a mess. All right, fishy folks, here is the new breeding setup. This will be a cross between Black Moscow and Red Cobra female. As you can see, one of Black Moscow males is chasing a female in the back. Now, I don't even have Barry White on. So here's what we need for breeding. These are three breeding tips from Michael's Fish Room. One, clean water. Whether you do a water change every day or every week, the water's gotta be clean. Keep it clean and the fish will be happy. That doesn't mean you can't have detritus, that just means your water parameters have to be good. Two, plenty of places for the guppy fry to hide. I get questions almost every week. Something to the effect of, Mike, can you help me? My guppy fry, my guppies are only dropping three or four fry at a time. You talk about drops of 30 or more. How do you do it? Your guppies are probably dropping more than three or four. They're just being eaten because they are tender and delicious. I don't know how else to tell you. Tender and delicious guppy fry. Mommies and daddies and brothers and sisters and any other guppy that's in the tank that a guppy fry can fit in the mouth, they will try to eat them. Why? Tender and delicious. Three words you need to memorize if you're trying to breed guppies. So I have plenty of places for the guppies to hide in this tank uh, with all that java moss. The third thing you need is good food. Now I feed a variety of food. I don't hardly feed any live food. Occasionally I do a uh, baby brine shrimp, but to be honest, I'm lazy and that takes work. So I like to feed the cobalt flake. I've been really liking the uh, cobalt ultra worm medley. Um, I also feed the uh, North Fin Fry Starter to the fry, as well as the Cobalt Smartinia to the fry. I like the New Life Spectrum New Probiotics food, as well as Dr. Basilier's food. I haven't talked much about Dr. Basilier's food. I met uh, the son of the owner of the company at the Aquatic Experience. Super nice guy. Um, really knowledgeable. I really like their food. I've been feeding the foods now since the Aquatic Experience and I'm really happy with it. And you guys know, and this is certainly a plug, I buy all my food from Lisa and Martin at Super Cichlids. Don't forget to check out supercichlids.com. Use promo code SHIP for free for free shipping. Those guys have all the food. They also have all the answers. If you have questions about food, you should ask. They are super smart. They're not just dumb people with cameras like me. They are really actually smart. Anyway, back to guppy breeding. I'm not sure if I mentioned you need a hiding place for the fry because they are tender and delicious. Yes, I know I mentioned it. I'm just reminding you. All right, guys, that's it for the guppy breeding project in Michael's Fish Room. I will be doing maybe monthly updates, probably in Fish Room tours. I'll touch on it, but I'll be doing monthly updates. So hopefully you guys stick around and hang out for that. If you haven't done so already, just obliterate the subscription button gently boop the notification bell and of course check out michael's fish room where black panda guppies are now back in stock i'm so excited they're back in stock i've already sold a couple trios so if you want them order them because they're gonna go quick all right guys have a great day talk to you soon Hi, fishy folks, and Happy New Year to y'all. That's right, y'all. I don't know why I said y'all. That was stupid. New Life Spectrum. Not New Life Spectrum. As well as the, uh, I'm talking out my butt. My butt. I'm here with Scott from King and Queen Cichlids in front of Reef to Rift. I am here with Michael's Fish Room. Mike from Michael's Fish Room. We are getting ready to go. So my real Rift. expensive camera's all jacked up, so I got to use my phone, which is fine. You say you know. King Queens, we leave with no stone unturned. This is top quality right here, but we're here with our friend. Say hi. How are you doing? Introduce yourself. Let Chris. me take you to That's the ladybug. Chris. This is what Michael from Michael's fish room. He's just drives. jealous because he's driving I don't want to call it a POS, but I mean look at it. It spells 
P.O.S.